start prepping like your life depends on it because it does and this is why folks folks do you all realize what is actually taking place in this world i mean there's so many things that are going on right now it is just incredible and there is nothing good that is coming out of this. Things are only going to get worse. We haven't crested the hill yet and started our way back down and trying to get back to some type of a livable area and country. We have so many different things that are taking place. We have our federal government that has given away oil and sent it overseas from you know our reserves. Um, they won't reopen the pipeline so we can just get our own oil from Canada which would make a lot more sense but hey they won't do it they close it down and then you turn around and we have the high food prices at the grocery stores which are only going to be continuing to go up uh, right now you also do have a lot of these big box stores and everybody else are running all these incredible sales on all the crap that has been setting around uh, for how long now you'll probably be able to find some really great deals. I'm not saying that you shouldn't go out and purchase items that would be beneficial to you, especially right now if you need back to school items for your kids. If you're looking for maybe you need a new computer or something like that. Uh, maybe you need uh, survival gear or, you know, like you know, a, a gas grill or charcoal grill or anything. A lot of these companies are all running all these big sales. Amazon Prime Days are coming up. You know, I mean, they're just going to be blowing it out the water, folks. And they just want you to run your credit cards up. So make sure that whatever you do purchase, if you use your credit card, like what I do, at the end of the month, I go on and I pay it before the term cycles again. And this way here, I'm not charged any interest. I just use their card for free. Just an easy way to do it. We have the feds that are looking to raise interest rates by another three quarters of a percent. Um, then in September, they're already talking about raising it another uh, half a percent. Um, you know, it, as you can see, folks, it keeps going up and up and up and up. But, you know, in the same token, they sit back and they say, oh, there were, we're not in no recession. We don't have to worry about any of that. Wise up, folks. It's coming. Regardless of what they say, do the math. Do your homework you can figure it out you know what they got going on yeah, it ain't gonna be good these interest rates are all gonna start going up people won't be able to afford homes anymore you're gonna see a slowdown in the, the markets and in the corporations and things that they do make which is gonna lead to people being laid off or fired jobs terminated companies closing and everything else and this is just the way a recession works uh, the last one that we went through back in 2008, from 2000 to late 2008 to, I think it was 2011, don't hold me on that date, but somewhere in that area, all right, there was 212 million people that lost their jobs due to the recession. So it's in the history books. It's right there, folks. It's just the way it works. Let's just hope that it doesn't turn into some catastrophic type situation to where it's going to be something like the great depression and the bottom falls out of not just the stock market the banking system the housing market and everything else all at once because then unless you're t somewhat prepared and ready and have some knowledge on how to survive these type of situations it isn't going to be fun it wasn't fun back then it ain't going to be fun now all right not talking about interest rates and stuff. I did a video here not too long ago and a lot of people commented on the video and they were saying, well, back in, you know, 1980, I remember my parents bought a house and the interest rate was 17%. And, you know, so, you know, at 5.3%, that's not bad at all. Well, let's just do a little comparison here. Okay, so back in 1980, the average house was $47,000. If you put 10% down, 4,700, all right, at a 17% interest rate, your payment was $886. Let's fast forward now to the future, to 2022. All right, so the average house now costs about $375,000. All right, say you put $25,000 down, 
at any interest rate at right now at 5.3%, your monthly payment is $2,329. Now, if you are working, say, at McDonald's or Walmart or any of these other places, and you say you're even making 15, 20 bucks an hour, you still can't afford that. Tim saying, folks, trust me, I understand how things were back then, but things are totally different now. You know, these houses, they're, they're so, they, they keep raising the prices of these homes, depending on where you live, I guess. Here in Florida, they just keep raising the prices of the homes. A lot of neighborhoods that I used to deliver to, well, that I still deliver to, when they started building the homes in the neighborhood of 10,000 homes, I mean, they're just, they're like little cities. But, you know, they started off at two, $250,000, and now they're 400 plus. For the same house that the guy in the front of the complex bought, somebody's paying, you know, almost double the price for towards the back of the complex. And they sell them like hotcakes. It's amazing. It's just a matter of time before all this stuff, the, the bottom starts falling out of everything. We really have to really start paying attention to what is going on and we need to be prepping like our lives depend on it because it does. This is all going to have a ripple effect. Prices are going to start going up and prices on food are going to increase because they're going to have to do this to counteract the higher interest rates that it's costing companies to do business and everything else. And they're not going to eat it. They want to post their billion dollar profits and they're going to make us pay for it. So you all need to be doing whatever you can and making sure that you have what you need. You have your food, you have um, emergency food, you have canned goods or you're doing canning. You have all your dry goods and everything put up, your rice and flour and beans and all these type of things and sugar. You also want to make sure that you do remember that when you're prepping or if you are a prepper, there is more to this than just food and water, all right? That's just two pieces of the pie of being a prepper. You have to look at your all your other products that you do use on a daily basis as far as first aid and any type of survival gear, any way to cook if, say, power goes out or say you can't afford to pay electricity anymore. What are you going to do? Do you have something to fall back on? If you can't make that payment and they turn your power off, something to think about, folks. So make sure that you are prepping like your life depends on it, because it physically does. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope everybody stays safe. Keep prepping. There are deals out there to be found. You just have to search them out in your area and try to maximize the amount of money you're spending for the amount of goods you're bringing into your home so that you and your family will survive. Till next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.